Hello everyone and welcome to this series of tutorials on Cucumber BD. So this is our first video and in this video we will be learning about Cucumber itself, what is Cucumber, what are the benefits of using Cucumber and how Cucumber works and in our upcoming tutorials we will implement it practically. So let's begin. Cucumber is very much popular when you are talking especially about the automation testing itself. So what is Cucumber? So Cucumber is nothing, it's just a tool that supports the behavior driven development which is known as commonly BDD and when we talk about BDD it's a behavior driven development where you define the behavior of the application and based on the behavior you would be driving your development and if we talk about how Cucumber works simply Cucumber reads the plain language executable requirements and verifies against the software this is how actually Cucumber works and you can write multiple scenarios and examples in your requirement specification file and if we talk about how this uh, file actually looks like so let me show you example here where you have a scenario you need to write a scenario in a plain English then you have to tell what the scenario will do what is given to you okay and if you perform some actions then what will be the result of that particular actions so if we talk about this example here this is a simple scenario where calculator needs to add two numbers so this is basically a very simple scenario and given is that whatever is the given and in this particular example the given is that you have input fields to enter the numbers and when you add both numbers then the final output should be in terms of the sum of those numbers so this is a very simple plain language specification this is a requirement which is break down into the scenario given when and then and here if you see that i have highlighted the scenario given when and then why i need to highlight this here because when we talk talk about cucumber itself we need to follow some set of rules in order to write our specification file and if we talk about those specifications here comes a gherkin or jerkin language so basically jerkin is nothing gherkin is nothing it's just a set of grammar rule that makes a plain text structure enough for cucumber to understand if we don't follow those rules cucumber will not understand what we are talking about so there are some set of rules we will be learning those rules practically step by step in our upcoming tutorials but here try to understand that we have to write the requirement in a very simple way in a plain english and that plain english needs to follow some set of grammar rules and those grammar rules are known as gherkin gherkin language right and gherkin serves multiple purposes there are multiple reasons for using the gherkin the first thing is that it will identify the unambiguous executable specifications second one is automation testing using cucumber which we are talking about and the third one it will document your system how your system how your system will behave okay and if we talk, talk about the example itself let me go back to my example here here you see that this is a very simple plain level english and we and if we talk, talk about automation testing you need to automate your scripts using different languages like java python javascript and only the automation engineers know what they have automated which cases they have covered right and the people from the business side or the different stakeholders they don't know they cannot contribute in your automation testing because they cannot understand your python code then they cannot understand your code in java or javascript so that's here the biggest benefit of cucumber because it covers the gap between the technical team and the non-technical team and both technical and non-technical team can contribute to have a best test cases which can be automated okay so this is a gherkin language the benefits and purposes we know that they have three purposes mainly and when we talk about step definition which is a very common term you will hear 
when we talk about cucumber now you have written your specification you followed the set of rules and grammar which are gherkin basically and now how it will automate your system because these are just plain english language specification okay and when we are talking about the automation tools if we talk about selenium cypress playwright all these tools are using different programming languages just like java python c sharp to automate our system how this will work so here comes our step definitions so basically what we need to do is that once we have done with our specification file which is written in plain english and it follows the king pattern or the syntax that is ready and now we need to map those with our step definition so step definition is nothing basically it connect your gherkin steps to a programming code so whatever we have written in our code in gherkin both will be mapped together so what step have what kind of a code here so let me let, let me show you here so steps in gherkin mapped with the step definition so step definition is basically your technical file where you have written your automation scripts in any of the languages you are following either is c sharp java javascript python and so on so let me show you a um, bit more about how it actually works now let me open the paint and show you actually how it works so let me go to the paint here and here let me show you so first you need to create a file the specification file and you need for example let me example of login page so you need to create a file for login and the extension would be dot feature and here you need to follow the gherkin language you need to identify you need to tell the scenario you need to tell the given when then and this is a plain english language right and now you need to create another file and for example if we are using a javascript here so let me create one more file for javascript and let me name it as login.js and here basically this file serve as a step definition file and against this scenario given when then we need to write the code so here against this one this one this one and this one so here this scenario needs to be mapped so you can name this file as login then against the given so against the given here you need to write a js code here given and you need to map it using the regular expression and here after mapping it with the regular expression we will learn it practically how we need to map it but here just try to understand the concept given and here actually you have a javascript code against this given so now what happens is that when you execute this login dot feature it will go to this file and see what is written in the given it will go to the step definition file and see what code needs to execute against this simple plain text here and in similar way it what it will do is that it will go for the when and then so every given when then needs to be mapped against your technical code and that's how actually cucumber works and when we talk about contribution from the business people they can write simple english language specifications for you and as automation team you would be creating the step definition file and you would be mapping those given when then in your step definition file and in our upcoming tutorials what we will do is that we will be mapping and see practically how it works thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial